And it has been one year since the life of Alexandria Owens went to go be with the Lord. I know for a fact she went to go be with the Lord. There's so many things me and my fiance can tell you that's happened that she's did after life, after the fact of her death, that is just incredible that's happened. So first off, I just want to open up with a prayer before, as we open up a memorial service and just enjoy ourselves and continue to mourn and celebrate. As we know, she is an angel above with the Lord, and we just want to continue to send all our condolences to the family. So, Lord, we just come, the pain, the hurt, whatever we feel in today, Father God, we just give it to you, Father God. We don't let Satan win by no means, Lord. We doesn't let him win. We rebuke him in every way, Father God. And as we mourn on this day, Father God, I ask you to give us the comfort. I ask you to let her presence fulfill us, Father God. Let us seek and fill her face, Father God, as we celebrate today for her, Lord. Continue to bless the ones that came here today supporting me on this loss, Father God. Even the ones that don't know her, they came here today to hear this testimony because they the draw to her presence because of you, Father God, like she did me as she drawed me and my fiance unto you. So I ask you to bless each and every one, be upon them, and let them be in your fellowship, Father God, as we fellowship into you, Father God, giving her a celebration and morning. Lord, watch over her family and comfort them on this really hard day, as I know it's hard for them, Lord. I know it is, Lord. Give them that love. Wrap, their, wrap your arms around them and just let them feel your peace and grace. In your holy, precious name, I pray to you, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray, Father. Amen. Now I'm going to read my testimony that I wrote last night. Literally, I was up till probably three o'clock last night writing this testimony. So I'm gonna write. I'm gonna read this testimony, and this is the testimony of how I was drawn. Me and my fiance was drawn to Christ. June 27, 2016, a day I'll never forget. A time of pain, grief, hurt, and confusion. A time when I got completely lost, not caring anymore because I couldn't realize why my dearest friend Alexandria was gone. I couldn't see the light in any direction. As hard as I tried, just felt like giving up. My pain was so deep, like my heart was completely ripped out. I was lost. My girlfriend was lost. Alexandria's family was hurt and lost, and we could not figure it out for ourselves at the time. My fiance was currently pregnant with our first daughter, so it was a lot for her as well. I grew up with Alexandria back in my home in Greensboro, North Carolina. At a time, I was growing up in a trailer park called Hidden Forest, so it was a bunch of us that grew really close together. Alex was always loving, caring, always trying to give a smile no matter to who is to. She just was that person you wanted to always be around, especially if you just wanted to have a smiling day. Alex passed at a young age, 25 years old, leaving behind two beautiful daughters, Emily and Corley four or five a piece of alex we are thankful to know and see she's still here with us it was a battle for weeks alex went into the hospital from a stroke of a relapse she battled as a tough angel she will always be for weeks up until the day of june 27th when she was called to finally go to rest with the lord i know for a fact she's an angel and that's why i'm sharing this with you the pain I received through her loss to the mountain she has led me and my family through and continues to bring her family through. I battled a lot, anger after she passed, getting into it with my lovely soon-to-be wife and got took away from her to jail for three months. Now realizing or thinking, got my mind reconnected with God and started holding prayer calls with the boys in the county jail. Just bringing our hurts to God and coming to realizing we need him. So I did that all the way up until the end of my stay from July 21st until September 28th. One day after my precious firstborn daughter was born, magnificently, not to blow your minds away, to prove how real God and Alex is, a living angel, my daughter Serenity Alexandria Grace Truman was born exactly three months from the day Alex was called home to be with the Lord and gain her wings. So back to me being released. My first prayer call the night before I, 
I came, I called and heard my child being born. So I left the boys with a true testimony as me leaving, coming out of custody to my new lovely family. I know she has led me to the path of Christ. I'm currently fighting custody right now due to they took her because of marijuana, due to the struggle I was going to and want me complete anger management, which I currently been in since January. My daughter is currently staying with my fiance's sister. They let her go to her until we finish taking care of our progress to get her back. But things are going to get better. Our baptism was two weeks ago and me and my fiance did it together right here with our pastor. I would never be reconnected and so ready to walk this path if it wasn't for my guardian angel, Alexandria, leading me and my soon to be wife connected to this side. God sends angels to reach others all the time and I'm here witnessing she did it for me and Zoe. Reconnected, now planning a future, building a ministry in honor of her. Plans already been in effect called Angel Alexandria Ministry. There's a Facebook link and also an Insta coming up soon. Alex impacted me and Zoe so much. Our daughter has her name, her middle name, so that's why we gave it to her. So that's why it's Serenity Alexandria Grace Truman because of the things she continues to do for us. And I want to share these things around the world and continue to share her life for showing me and my wifey the light because this is the light we all need. The, the light to blind every part of Satan away and to see the things that God and our angels above want us to see. I'm so thankful for every second of this new path and I never turn back for anything because me and my newly family that God has gave us enjoy every second of getting to carry her spirit and keeping her living even just being able to be there for the family is a blessing itself to us that we would never regret no matter what things we are dealing with ourselves because the love and joy alexandria left will always be remembered and carried through on through this life and path i want others to receive the same connection that me and my family and hers have from her and let us clearly to see the perfect light that christ gives for us to blind out the road of destruction Satan tries to set for us so we can trap and fail. So I'm glad I was able to share my summary of what she has done even after life. Here to let any unbelievers realize that angels are so true and come on to you and try to rescue every one of you. When have failed, sorry I'm choking up, it's just hard y'all, have failed. That's exactly what you can see Miss Alexandria did for my family and her family. Things are not all golden roses, but things are better. And my, f and my family feels more free. So thank you from every inch of my soul for hearing this. And I just want you all to know, may God and my angels above continue to bless you and fill your heart with all love and grace. So now I'm going to go ahead and my sister's going to play this video. This was the last video that I was able to retrieve of Alex because unfortunately her parents said her phone was stolen right after her death so this is the only video that I have left with her sister so go ahead right and play that video for me thank you
pleasure and honor to basically be here to celebrate the life of Alexandria. I am too very well familiar with what our choices can cause devastation to our families and friends, and even to ourselves. Um, I work in the community of Skid Row, so I see this all the time. But I think it's a lovely, um, awarding thing. And of course, when I say rewarding, I mean up in heaven, because Timmy and your lovely wife and basically all the people that's assisting you in this ministry, you know, to carry on, because through our tragedies, we can't see and find Jesus. That I know all too well myself. So I just want to applaud you to say thank you for having me. Thank you for what you're doing. Um, we are few in numbers, but many in heart, because this is going to go on and touch more people. Amen? Because when I'm looking here and I'm feeling the spirit of this lady, Alexandria, I feel the love. I feel that in the midst of her trials, in the midst of whatever she's going through, she had love in her heart. And that's what we all have. So, but I want to tell you that um, I chose the next song so that you can just basically take your love, take your concerns, take your grief, take your loss, take whatever it is, and give it to God. He's waiting for you to give it all to him, okay? And that's my blessing word for you, from me to you. Um, God, excuse me, I'm a little tired. I ran all the way over here from work. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Now, is this on? Yes, ma'am.
you can rest in the Lord, okay? I want everyone that's missing her, want to receive her, want to feel her love, just say this to the king.
Okay, here's the poem that I've written for Alex. It says, as the tears run down, I never can grasp that this situation is true. Anything in this world to have you back. I'm sorry if that's me being selfish, Lord. It's just me feeling blue. Every single thought is just giving, trying to bring all maximum joy to you. Never giving up on showing your spirit so real and true. Leading my new family to find Christ through all your effects. I promise on my soul, that's not a lie, and these words are all true. I'll never give up on carrying your spirit through, because you will always be the beautiful angel I forever knew. Flying so peacefully, so perfect and so true, the world will always know what a beyond lovable person always giving love no matter who is to. These are a couple statuses that she wrote that I think that'll touch everybody. Me and my fiance was kind of reading this over a couple times last night, and I was just like, wow, just like going back and just reading some of the things that she would say. You could just just feel the type of person she was. So I just want to share that so y'all can feel that same energy as well. Okay, this is a status she wrote back in March, right before she passed. It says, follow your path, be the bigger person. Make changes, be yourself. Keep your positive thoughts. Stand for what you believe in, even if you're standing alone. That was written by Alexandria Owens. She wrote, February 1st, our fate is determined by how far we are prepared to push ourselves to stay alive. The decisions we make to survive, we must do whatever it takes to endure it and make it through alive. We must have the desire to live and appreciate the values of life. Life is beautiful, and if you don't like your life, then change it. Words from Alexandria Owens. And lastly, we are all so different in this cruel but beautiful world, but ultimately we all strive for the same goal, survival. We need to eat, sleep, and have the essential things to live. We also all want materialistic things, and those things turn us into monsters. This stats right here, y'all, really touched me. Monsters that only other people can see. If people focus more on things they needed than the things they want, then this world might not be so cruel. I am not innocent. We all just are and have our own monsters. Written by Alexandria Owens. Yeah. 
My thoughts and feelings just can't define. Wish I could turn back the hands in time. Us in the six, shopping new clothes and kicks. Memory taking flicks, making hit stages. They still belong. Still can't believe you're gone. I give you anything to get half your breath. I know you're still living your life after death. Every move I make.
Holy Ghost power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Wow. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I'll share this with y'all right after the opposite pass. Oh, there's kind of dealing with a little thing with kind of the two little girls who took um because I guess the sister was kind of in a situation at the time. So I just want to ask you to continue to keep her family in the prayers because right after Alex passed, it was a really tough time for her sister. And so they're fighting a battle right now and we all won't them to return back home because that's the only piece of Alex they have left so just continue to keep them in your family in your prayers as they battle a little war as they're going through some things right now and my fiance is getting ready to like the cake and we're going to continue to finish out the celebration and celebrate and this is the uh, anybody I want to set over here on the table this is the little donation box that we made for Alex's family Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Dee Dee Wilson's going to say a prayer over the cake while we get ready to sing happy birthday and enjoy the cake to Alex. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord, with happiness and peace and joy in our hearts, Lord God. And, and Lord, we feel some sadness, Lord God, but we feel, we feel encouraged, Lord, that we have you and you placed in our lives to show gratitude and appreciation and remembrance of the love that was shared with Alexandria when she was here, Lord God. I know that you needed her there, Lord God, so that she can continue to work in you, Lord God, that she was beginning here on earth, Father God. Father God, be with the be with Alex, and, I mean, be with her parents and her daughters, and most of all, Lord, her friends, Lord God. Be with them, Lord God. Be with her children, Lord God. Let them share in the love that they have for their mom through the friendships that, that surrounds them all, Lord God. And Lord God, continue to work a beautiful thing in the lives of those that she left behind, Lord. You say in your word, Lord God, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. So right now, we calling on you, Lord God, to do your, do your will, Lord God. Do your way thing, do your way thing, Lord God, in all areas, Lord God, of our, all of our lives, Jesus. It's such a marvelous, marvelous work, and you've given us so much grace and so much mercy, and we just want to thank you for that right now. We welcome the Spirit of the Lord. We want to hold on to all the love that we have for you. May we be elevated, Lord God. Bless this house. Bless the minister of this house. Bless all the workmen of this house, Lord God. Let everything that's, that's within these walls, Lord God, be elevated to a new level, Lord God. Let next year be, every seat will be filled, Lord God, with people that just want to receive you, Lord God. Let, let the lines be overflowed, Lord God. Let the blessings be overflowed over the household and over the friends and family, Lord God. Oh, there's so much we want to say, Lord God. And if there's anything that was missed, Lord God, please fill it, Lord God. Please hear these prayers, Lord God. And if anyone that, that, that doesn't know you, Lord God, and they want to get to know you, Lord God, let them get to know you today, Jesus. Let them get to know you today. If they backslid, Lord God, let them reconnect back to you, Lord God. Let this be a teller, Lord God. Let us go and tell others about you, Lord God. How when we all came together, we shared in song and prayer and worship and just, just, just innocent fellowship, Lord God. And we thank you for that. So let us go tell others, Lord God, of what is going on right here, Lord God. And oh, hallelujah, we'd be so careful to give you all the praise and all the glory. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you so much, so much. Oh, what a celebration this is. 
Because in Alexandria, we see you, Lord God. We see you and we thank you for that. And everyone agrees with this prayer. Can we all say amen? Amen. 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 Let's try to cut some pieces. I'm going to read this scripture real quick. I found the scripture that I wanted. You can go ahead and cut if you want. I'm going to go ahead and just read this. Do you want to blow the candle out? Yeah. Let me, I'm going to say, after you I read the scripture, I'm going to say, happy, we sing happy birthday. I want you to blow the candle out. Yeah, I'm going to read the scripture real quick. That scripture real quick that I'm going to read. Uh, it's about uh, verses about angels I brought and I, I found I wanted to read to you guys Psalms 91 11 and 12 for he, it says for he will command and this is I want every one of you to hear this closely this is what the angels do it says for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways on their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. And then I have a little message that it said in my study Bible just about angels. God offers his pure and selfless love through the use of his angels according to the psalmist. God commands many angels to guard us. God commands those faithful spirits who are nearest to him, who come from him and are marked by him to guard us in all our ways. God promises through the psalmist to Jesus applies to us as well. And then I have a verse about when losing a loved one. I needed this verse today. Revelation 21 4. He will wipe away every tear yes, from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither sh there shall there be mourning. There shall be no crying, nor crying, nor pain anymore. For the former things have passed away. And that's what's happened to Alex. She, none of that. Everything that was coming against her that Satan was trying to bring. The addiction, the everything, the hurt, the pain that caused. She is now in paradise with Jesus Christ sitting at the right seat of God. And how I know that, because we can clearly see it today. I see your spirit everywhere. Thank you all. And now, enjoy cake. I'm just going to play some music and I have a, uh, card right here that I would love to uh, sign in honor of Alex that I'm going to send to her family. So, once again, thanks everybody. And I'm